My left eye has been left with 25% vision, uh, the right eye about 10%. So uh, the hardest thing with the eyes is they see totally differently. I describe it as being like the old fun mirrors at Lunar Park, where everything's distorted. Or we'll fog up your windscreen, jump in your car of a cold morning, go for a drive without clearing the windscreen. But then put a few little lines and black dots into your line of vision and then go cross-eyed. So you've got double vision on top of that. I was never actually told about the correlation between diabetes and depression. If my sugar levels were high, my moods would swing. But once I lost the sight, the depression came in like a, a tidal wave. Um, it became all-encompassing um, to the fact where I, I attempted suicide. I lost all self-esteem. I lost all self-worth. It cost me my marriage. I haven't seen my children for two years. October 07, my life fell into a hole, a very, very deep black hole. And it took me another six months to crawl my way out of it and restart my life. One of the, the biggest things that, I guess, helped me get my life back on track or, or helped me out of the hole that I was in, I made an appointment to see my GP and, and couldn't get in, so they said, oh, look, we've got another doctor here that's got a, an appointment open. Do you mind seeing someone else? I said, oh, look, I just need a script, so yeah, that'd be great. So I sat down with this new, new female doctor, very young she was. Um, she had a look at my file and said, oh, you haven't had this test done for a while, you haven't had this test. What's going on here? What's going on there? We better take control of this. And it was almost a light bulb moment for me, like someone's listening, someone's taking note. Um, I guess the GP I was seeing, we'd ha we had a good rapport, um, but it just became the usual, yep, I've run out of such tablets. Can you help me here? Um, and it was in and out, script in hand. Thanks very much, see you later. She also linked me in with the local psychiatric services through the, the local hospital. Um, and I was given a, a case manager um, who once again showed a lot of compassion and care and, and was listening to me. But also Vision Australia really came on board and helped me with a lot of adaptive stuff. And they sent out a, um, a person to help me learn how to walk again. Sounds silly, but you suddenly learn to feel the ground rather than see the ground. I couldn't see the normal everyday things anymore. The simple things like, you know, put something in the microwave, push the button to go. I couldn't see that button. I couldn't feel that button because they're all flat panel. Um, so Vision Australia said, you know, look, we've got these little dots. You just put them on the, on the go button and the stop button. Because um, I can't read how many minutes I've got up or anything, so I just count how many times it beeps. It's, it's just one of the little things that you, you take for granted um, that suddenly become an issue. But it was the supports behind me that that helped me. I'm now actually employed by Southwest Healthcare Psychiatric Services Department. Um, Vision have come down from Melbourne and put in a, a program which helps with email. It actually enlarges the font automatically because I can't read normal size font. Also, uh, enlarge keys or enlarge stickers on the keyboard. Um, without them, I've got no hope. I think the main thing someone that's new to diabetes or even a doctor that's treating a, a new diabetic is to actually emphasise what it is and how it works. I think doctors need to emphasise the fact is you won't feel it coming because as I said earlier I expected to have signs. If there's going to be any damage I expected to have the signs that are coming. You don't feel it coming. It creeps up very very slowly until suddenly it's out of control. A lot of the things I did was, oh, I'm not sure about that. Oh, well, if it's serious, they'll tell me about it and let it go. And of course, they think you've understood it, so they let it go. Suddenly it becomes a, a huge issue down the track. I honestly feel if it had to be more of a team effort between GP and myself, um, maybe I wouldn't have lost the sight.